Hey everyone, welcome back to my tarot reading. Picking six cards, reading from the book. Let's see how it lines up, if it lines up, with what's been happening in my life. One. Two. Five, six. Okay, so first card upside down four pentacles. The reversed Four of Pentacles has two distinct possibilities, so you will need to use your intuition to work out which one applies to you. On one hand, it can show miserliness and an uncompromising, grasping attitude. You may be envious of another's financial good fortune or be discontented with your own possessions. The other side of the coin, as it were, can show failure in tests and exams. Money may be short and you could feel very insecure for a while. Okay, I've had that one recently. Card number two, upside down, judgment card. The swift conclusions foretold by the upright card will be frustratingly delayed when judgment is reversed. You may be frightened of the far-reaching far changes ahead, ignoring new opportunities and refusing to abandon your routine, although the future promises to be better. Judgment reversed may indicate a denial of the inevitable and desirable change. It is also said that a fear of illness or even death may prevent someone from seeking treatment or information about their condition when the card is in this position. When timing with the cards, a reverse judgment often slows the pace of events. Third card, Three of Pentacles, upright. The Three of Pentacles often means buying or moving into a new home. Property issues are predominant here. So even if you are not moving, there will be work to do at your current address. The card has a positive meaning for other areas of your life too. You will achieve an ambition that puts you head and shoulders above your colleagues and rivals. Although this may make others envious, there will be grudging respect for what you have accomplished. Let your talents shine and make the most of all the opportunities that come your way. Okay, we got more positivity there, thankfully. Card number four. Seven. Cups, chalices. Upright. The seven of cups is a card without com about confusion. There are just too many choices to be made at once and too many people to listen to, each of whom has a different perspective. The only way to deal with this is to trust in your instincts. Disregard all of this well-meaning advice and just go with the option that feels right. It is true that all is not as it seems, but no amount of logic will sort the true from the false in these circumstances. There are truly amazing opportunities around, so be sure to make the most of them. Aside from all of this decision making, if a romance has been beset by a lack of funds, this will soon be resolved. Card 5, upside down, strength.
The determination shown by the upright version may be misplaced and you may be pursuing the wrong goal. Alternatively, the card may show cowardice, a loss of nerve and a readiness to give in when victory is not in sight. It is equally likely that you may not be able to deal with your problems alone. You will need to rely on someone else to support you while you take the lead. When strength is reversed, the first battle you must fight is with your own insecurity or fear. Last card today, upside down, king, cups. The reversed king of cups is a rather sad figure, who usually covers up this fact very well. He is likely to be secretive, yet vulnerable. However, he will tend to take his emotional pain out on others. He may be hot-tempered or possess an addictive personality trait. Unfortunately, his capacity for self-damage is awesome. Okay guys, that's today's reading. A bit of a negative bunch today. Well, positivity shines through you in the end. If you have any comments, please drop them below. Otherwise, like, share and subscribe. Goodbye.